Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a 44-year-old male with complaints of chronic back pain. He finally saw a doctor and got injected with some steroids, epidural steroids, and he said the symptoms got better, but didn't go away completely, and wanted to find out what was going on. So we did an MRI of the lumbar spine here, and we see he has a significant problem down at the bottom. This vertebral body, this square, has moved forwards. Put up a little arrow here, there it is. So this vertebral segment, instead of being nicely aligned like all the rest of them, it's moved forwards. And when it's shifted forwards like that, it means that he has a fracture, usually, in the back. So there's something back here called the spinous process, and then there's a vertebral body, and these are connected. But whenever that connection is broken, the vertebral body can drift forwards like this. This is a very common thing called pars defects. And people think that may happen when you're a toddler, you fall on your butt, and these things can crack, and then your whole life you have um, an achy pain in the back, and over time this can drift further and further and cause more and more pinching of the nerves. So this is a case of bilateral pars defects or pars fractures in this patient that's causing their pain. So I'm going to just run through this since it's a very common thing. And I just want to show you these are the vertebral bodies. In between the vertebral bodies are these gray things. These are the discs. This patient has really nice, big, tall discs. These look really healthy. These are the cushions or the shock absorbers here. And behind the vertebral column, we see fluid, which is white in the spinal canal. The spinal canal looks really wide open here. We see these strings coming down here like spaghetti. These are the nerves that are coming down through the spinal canal, and they exit at each level here through these holes. Now this patient, because it has the, they have these pars fractures, this is drifting forwards. The disc is collapsed. You can see how tall a disc should be. This disc is completely collapsed. This vertebral body is slipped forwards. If we roll off to these sides to see these foramina, we can see they're really narrowed. So again, a foramen should be an ovoid area right here with bright fat around it and a dark nerve in the middle. We can see over here they have a region of bright fat with a nerve in the middle. If we go down to this foramen, you can't see the foramen at all because the disc is collapsed and this is slipped forwards. And this nerve, you can see the nerve coming down. There's the nerve and it's trying to go through this little hole, but the hole is completely collapsed. So there's severe stenosis and compression and flattening of this nerve. And that's what's causing a symptom. So um, steroid injections aren't going to do very much. It may cause a little bit of a temporary relief, but the real problem is a severe neural compression. So they need to go in here and fuse these levels together to keep it from slipping and then open up these areas so the nerves can pass through. So again, this is a very common thing where there's fractures back here called pars fractures. It's a fracture right in this region. And uh, again, very, very common finding to cause back pain. And that's it. Thank you very much.